Tell us about like leading up to that Lance Bachelor fight. How did it all get? How did it all get set up? Well, I was in a school. Uh, or have the Hoist Gracie fought UFC one, and uh, when he fought UFC one, uh, one of my students, his name was Lonnie Foster. Lonnie's uh, one of the guys who helped me the most, very helpful guy, super talented, great guy, helped me tremendously in, in Utah. He's been one of my first black belts, super nice, great talented mm -hmm. guy. So I believe that what happened that Lonnie Foster got, in, got a, 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 some kind of connection with the radio station. Yeah. And I went there to do some radio interview about Hoist Grace UFC 1. And when I was there, Mr. Utah, he's, apparently yeah, he was there. Massive. Yeah, he was a big boy. He was a short, but you know, 250 pounds. Yeah, short that's, but what? Stocky. Very stocky. Legs big, big legs. Very so fit. Lo very low center of gra gravity. Very hard to take down. That kind of. Yep. Body shape. Yeah. So I never met him before. I never knew who he was. I accepted the challenge basically without even seeing him. When I stepped there right now, that's the first time I saw him. Yeah. It almost looks like he got a mohawk in it from. Yeah, I, this, I had a little mohawk. A little after, mohawk there. Yeah, I put a little mohawk there too. Yeah. And I have Vaseline all over my face. Yeah. And the Vaseline end up to rubber in, in Lance's body. So he's like to hold on a wet fish. Yeah. Uh, wet fish with soap. And yeah. I thank you God the new self-defense, as you can yeah. see. We start with the leg kicks as a distraction. Mm. Those are all to, designed to keep to manage the yeah. distance. And I can notice that the, 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 uh, Mr. Utah was trying mm -hmm. to grab my legs. Okay. Right. And I knew that I could snap those kicks very, very quickly. So he never touched my leg. Yeah. Look at how, how, look at that. You see, he's trying to grab. Yeah. Oh, he never touched it. Never touched my my, my leg. Oh, never. All oh, right, there. When he tried to touch my leg, that was the time that I swung the punch. Because yeah. look at that. The guy stuck on the gear. Yeah. He opened up his jaw. Yeah. Boom, and right to the yeah, nose. Too. So it was a left yeah. and right. Actually, it was a right and left. And I saw his nose move to one side and move oh, to the other side. Right there, oh, his nose yeah. moved back. Right. And, mm. And he's complete ate it. But you see, he's a, he was so much bigger now, so much lighter. And that he was a, shook it. That was a very fast punch. You have to watch it in slow motion. That yes. one, like, actually, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So you couldn't actually see. Yeah, and I, over yeah. there, I got a three more. I yeah. had three more punches. They all connected. Every single time I had a punch, mm -hmm. uh, the, Mr. Utah, the punch got connected. Yeah. Every single time. And I never received one punch. Mm. So that's a, a perfect example of self-defense. And right there is the luckiest moment of the fight. Yeah. You see, we went to the ground, I swept him. When I went to the top, notice that his left arm is going to be stuck on my body. You see the left arm? Yeah. Now he lifted my body completely off the ground. Mm -hmm. look, look how my legs get swept underneath him. Oh, yeah. oh, right there. He picked you right up. He picked me right up with one arm. Mm -hmm. You know, that was the luckiest moment. Because if yeah. you end up establish the top position, yeah. can you imagine? Yeah. It would be uh, very hard for him to get out from the body. Yeah, yeah? yeah for sure. Yeah, but at the, at the moment right there, I was in the bottom, so the only thing to do is to control him and to use my hook as butterflies. Butterfly yeah. to make sure his hands are busy on the ground instead of busy on my face. Look how much, look, it's like a cat. Mm. He was probably had some wrestling, wrestling yeah. experience, otherwise, you'd be tossing left to right. Look, his hands on the ground all the time. Mm. Well, it's all about distance management. Yep, that's Start it. with the kicks. Look at that. He was trying to hit me. Oh, he couldn't find me. Couldn't, now, the hand on the ground. Now, look at that. I'm starting to lift him. Look at the hands. Oh, hand on the ground. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Now look at that. Look right up in the air. Oh, he was so lucky so right that, there. Yeah. He could have been flipped very easily. Mm. And the problem is that when you give this kind of distance, and we talk about no holds bar, mm. it's very tricky for you to establish and wide your base because you have to think about punches so you can never mm. let go of the body. Yeah. So you have to always keep clenching the it's body. Of give and take. You, you can't have. I cannot take the punches. Defending, no. By the way, that's the only when I when I fought Mr. Ut Mr. Utah, I talked to Grandmaster Elio. Two mm. days before the fight, and the only advice he gave to me was, "Don't get hit." <laughs> that's all that. Yeah, that's, that's the only matters. advice he gave to me. Don't. So I was there with my main main goal was not to get hit. Yeah. I didn't want to tap him. Well, of course, if he show up, Stubisha shows up, mm. I'll be caught him early. But I, I might be all oh, right there. Another lucky moment mm. there. He used the momentum. Mm. Oh, look at the momentum. Oh, I push his leg. He's I lift it. I flip it. I take a look on my on my left leg. I couldn't have my see my knee touch the ground. Yeah. I couldn't have the frog feet yeah, on the yeah, ground yeah, yeah. because you break my leg if you yeah. put my frog feet. Yeah. Oh, right there. That's the only punch he connect me right, right there. It's it, right, kind of give me a little headache here for, yeah, for yeah. <laughs> That's the only punch that was really in the back of my head. Everything else is missing. So. Yeah. All those punches. It was not 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 nothing. Now look at that. That's going for one miss. Miss. Uh, miss it. Uh, 
He tried another one, missed it. Now I block his arm and I right, right in the nose. Huh? Boom! <laughs> right in the nose. That exploded to his yeah. nose right there. And after that, look at my yeah, yeah. full of his blood. I didn't have one scratch. Yeah. Now look at that. The leg, leg, perfect stretch. Pop, the arm pop right mm. there. Yeah, that was awesome arm bar. Yeah, that's called the Lance Bachelor arm bar. Yep. And I have to cross my legs. People ask me, why you cross my leg? Well, when you have a wet fish that big, you want to hold the guy yeah. with your thighs. So I, oh, right there. See, he tried to poke my eyes there. Oh, right yeah. My... oh yeah. Yeah, the thumb in the eye. Yep. I grab one. A two and right there, look at the arm. Buck, right there. And, and of course, the arm, he fell down the ground. Mm. And he tapped on my leg over there on the left hand. The judge is right here standing up yeah. on the side. You know, oh, one, two. Oh, everybody now clapped because you know, everybody knew he's going to get out of there. How, how are you going to get out of there if you have yeah. no clue? And the arm was broke. And tapping there. Now look at how my body arched after that. And his mm. body was right on my chest. Mm. So right there. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, the angle that's, that's gone. So I let go and I turned my body and he said, why? What happened? Because I don't think he didn't even knew what happened. He, he didn't, didn't keep in mind, that's UFC 1. Yeah. The, his coach, was that before, his coach came to my class. After UFC 1? After UFC after, 1. Yeah. So he, his coach, he stopped there, you know, he kind of, that's it, that's it. He, he thought it was some kind of BS, I guess. Mm. And he pushed the Lance, uh, Lance Bachelor after the, the, he took him out of the, the room, and uh, a month later, his coach uh, was doing some kind of police training in a school, or was training called the Murray, Murray High School. I was doing some class there, and his coach showed up in class, and he asked me, what move was that? What was that? So he didn't even, never knew it, he never seen an armbar. Mm. So I put him in an armbar, and I told him, I was trying to get him to grapple with us there, but he didn't mm. grapple, he just came uh, he just talk about. To, he just wanted to see it, feel it. Just wanted to see and feel it. So I put him in an armbar, and I said, try to escape now. And of course he couldn't escape. Enough. Well, another thing to, to that not so many people know that, that Mr. Utah, a month and a half later, he was in my school, hmm. show up at Miss Marlowe Gymnastics at Parlis Way in South Lake City, Utah, walking class, everybody thought it was going to be a fight, but actually came to learn Jiu Jitsu. Hmm. And I paired up with him and I tapped him 15, 20 times. <laughs> One after other, mm. one after other. You know, tap him like a little kid. Like, yeah. you know, if you, if you grapple, yeah. you're going to get tapped left or right. And that's what happened with him. 250 pound body, but a little kid, little yep. kid. Yeah, <laughs> but tap left or right. You know, I was 37 mm. years old. Yeah. I was in your you know, prime. In my prime there. So I just tapped him a dozen of times. And he asked me to teach, to, to learn Jiu Jitsu. I signed him up with one of my blue belts. His name was Simon Parson. Simon taught private class to Mr. Utah. For quite a while, and he ended up to fighting a couple more times. He have some couple professional fights uh, from Mr. Mr. Yeah. Utah after that fight. Yeah. How did he do after that? He lost all of them. <laughs> he didn't do very well. He okay. fought one of my students. His name was uh, Ethan Andrews. Mm -hmm. Lance Bachelor fought Ethan Andrews, and Ethan was a good boxer, and he just demolished uh, Mr. Utah. Just clocked him very hard. Yeah.